President Trump wants the census to stop counting right away. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCreary is digging deeper into how it could affect North Carolina and finds it could mean less money for everything from Head Start to the roads you drive on. I think the real risk is that we are not going to get our fair share of federal funds that we pay in in taxes to back to the state for the programs that our citizens need. Less than two thirds of households in North Carolina have filled out their census forms. That ranks in the bottom third nationally and is way behind how the state did in 2010. After that year's census, the state received more than $40 billion in federal money. The group NC Child says an undercount of just 1% can cost our state nearly $100 million. That means less money for Medicaid, highways, young children, and hundreds of other programs. The census also means more political power for our state. We're in line to claim another seat in Congress and one more electoral vote in presidential races. The deadline for the count was extended to the end of this month due to the pandemic. President Trump wants the Supreme Court to stop counting now to have the results added up by the end of the year. And what we want is we want these few more weeks to finish up and increase the self-response rate. And if you haven't filled out your form yet, it's still not too late. You can go online now to CBS17.com to find out how to make sure you're counted. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. All right, Jody, thank you. We get